Welcome back to my channel, Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve very quick, relaxing, tricky challenge. Three inside parentheses, we have three minus three times three. Maybe this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen, but a lot of students argue with each other about the correct answer, correct approach. I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. And in the end of the video, we will check our school knowledge, our answers. So let's solve our challenge. We have three inside parentheses. We have three minus three times three. So as you can see here, we have multiplication, we have subtraction and we have multiplication. A lot of mass operations, multiplication, subtraction, multiplication. So uh, whatever order of operation we select, guys, we, it's going to create a different answer. So we should know what is the correct order because one part of students start with subtraction, another part of students start with multiplication and we will have a different answer in the end. We should know what is the correct order because we can solve our challenges randomly. We can jump from left to right. Let's solve our challenge according to PAMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculators works according to PAMDAS order of operation. So let's solve our challenge according to PAMDAS. We have our challenge. We have three in parentheses. We have three minus three times three. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, we have parentheses. This is our first step. PAMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means higher position, higher priority. Parentheses has the highest position. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Next is exponents. I, I don't see any exponents. Uh, so we just skip this part. For example, three cubes, three square. We don't have exponents. Uh, next is multiplication. We have multiplication inside parentheses. So this is our, our second step, multiplication. Next step is division. We don't have any division. We have only multiplication, subtraction. So we just skip this part and addition we don't i don't see any addition we don't have addition so we just skip this part we have subtractions yeah we have subtraction inside parentheses so as i told before uh, higher position higher priority first we should find our parentheses next we should evaluate next we should multiply next we should multiply because this is our second step we have three inside parentheses we have three minus three times three which is equal to nine yeah, we complete our second step, multiplication. Next step is subtraction. We should subtract 3 minus 9. 3 minus 9, we have 3 inside parentheses, we have minus 6. This is our third step, subtraction, we subtract. And our last step, our last step, according to PAMDAS, we should multiply 3 times minus 6, which is equal to minus 18. This is a correct answer to this challenge. This is option D. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learn something new. I hope you understand my explanation. This is absolutely correct answer because we solved this challenge according to PAMDAS. First uh, parenthesis, next we multiply three times three, which is absolutely correct. This is inside parenthesis. Next we subtract. We subtract three minus nine, which is equal to minus three minus six and last step is uh, multiplication three times minus six which is equal to minus in t so i hope you learned something new i hope you understand my explanation i hope your answer is the same as mine but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so thank you for your time have a great day and see you guys in the next videos